welcome to the day in the life of a newly single 24 year old influencer in LA. I wake up bright and early at 5 a.m. Yeah, right. Are you kidding me? I do not get out of bed sooner than 10.30 a.m. at the soonest, usually noon. And crap, I just broke my phone. That thing's like a thousand dollars. I already broke it. I suck. Yeah, these are my plushies, my Squishmallows, Sebastian and Boba. And I threw them trying to be cute and then I changed my mind about what I want to do in the intro. So, we're smiling again like a psycho and then we're tucking them back in, make sure they're nice and cozy. And then we're gonna finish the intro and get on with the rest of the video. So yeah, um, it is 12.50 p.m. I have not showered or washed my face or brushed my teeth or done anything to look decent. <laughs> By the way, yes, I am still wearing shorts under this. I know it's hard to tell. This is me cooking my little breakfast. I don't know why I'm dancing. I'm hyper in the morning sometimes. But I made some potatoes and bacon and eggs and toast. You know, the more cholesterol and carbs, the better. That's my $20 custom Starbucks drink. And right over there is my $800 espresso machine I invested in so I didn't have to order custom drinks every day and spend like $100 a week on them. But who cares? Who who even wants to budget anymore? That's me trying to get the bacon off the pan because it's sticking, even though I threw an extra butter to make it not stick, but it doesn't work because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Here's a better look at my breakfast. It looks so freaking good. I'm like Martha Stewart up in this bitch. And this is the cute little egg I'm about to murder. I'm sorry, you're adorable, but I have to eat you. <laughs> and of course, literally two seconds after I turned off the camera, after that clip, the egg falls on the floor and gets all over the bottom of my sock. It's disgusting. So I try to be productive and take care of this mountain of dishes that's piling up because I'm lazy. But then it looked really gross because there's like food and crap in that pan. You can see it on my face. I am, I'm not happy about the situation. And yeah, I gave up almost immediately. I was like, it's just, it's just going there. Yeah, it's fine. We'll deal with that later. And then I did not deal with it for another three days. So I eventually did wash my face, brush my teeth, put my hair up to look halfway decent, and yeah. <laughs> and then I like to get my water in a fancy mug like some fancy bitch and then stand at the window looking out at the sun like some psycho. I don't know why I do these things. So this is my room. I know it's messy. Ignore that. If you say your room is always clean, you're a freaking liar. My little windowsill with my little perfumes and books. Need all aesthetic and crap coloring book that will literally never get finished. These are my Squishmallows. That's Boba and Sebastian. They're tucked in comfortably. They nap all day. This is my closet. Walk-in closet. Oh my god, so fancy really not that much room. <laughs> I need drawers. I want to get some drawers put here so I can actually store my underwear and bras that are on the floor and then put all that crap on top of it. But all my money is going to rent now. So maybe next month I'll get it. And this is just for cleaning crap that I never use because I don't know how to clean. I'm such an amazing woman. I can't cook or clean. It's great. Why wouldn't a man want all that? <laughs> Washer and dryer. It leaks soap onto the floor if I put too much crap in it. You suck. And then the dryer that does not dry all the way and I have to run it like five times. Love that. Didn't even close. Now what I am proud of is this bathroom. It's so big. Can you not? Rude. But yeah, it's very spacious and I got that cute little organizer. Hi. But yeah, I got this shower curtain from Target. It's freaking adorable. I got these cute little, little rugs. They match my toes. No one cares. And I got these Martha Stewart towels that already are getting all like rough and scraggly. They were soft for like a week. And this is my shower. I have that little ledge to store all of my girl crap. I have way too much. I have like three products of the same thing. But yeah, I want to be all cliche and get eucalyptus to hang up there because I heard that's good for you. I don't know why. That's for catching all my hair so it doesn't clog the freaking drain in a week. If you have long hair, you'd understand those problems. You know, I just cr try to grab it and clump it all up in this little corner so it looks like a little rat's nest and then I throw it away. And that's the toilet. Yeah, no one wants to see that. Now what I'm really proud of is my freaking kitchen. Look at this. It's gorgeous. I got this kitchen island from Wayfair. I built it, put it together, and it matches everything perfectly. It looks like it's part of it, but it's not. I picked that out. I'm amazing. I need to calm down. Yeah, those are 
flowers from a secret admirer. Ignore that. <laughs> My cute little retro toaster that doesn't toast all the way. I have to run it like one and a half times because, you know, you do that for a minute, doesn't toast, and then you would think, oh, just do it again when you flip it. No, it burns it. So halfway through the second time, I have to take it out. And then, of course, the sink is filled with dishes that I'm not going to do until the end of the week because I'm lazy and gross. Oh my god, I totally forgot about this. That's disgusting. I need to rinse it out. And this is my little coffee tea corner. Hold on, I gotta open these. You gotta see everything. That's all my stuff for my espresso that I haven't used in a week. And instead I spent a hundred dollars in Starbucks orders. And then I have my mugs and cups. I love my mugs. I have an addiction to collecting them. Comment below what you're addicted to collecting that you have way too much of. And then this is my very spacious fridge I'm very proud of and it's full of a bunch of crap that's gonna go bad. I waste so much food, it's not even funny. See, look at this Starbucks order. This is from yesterday. This drink cost like, will it focus, gosh dang it. This drink cost like between 16 and $17 alone. That's really bad, but it tastes really good. And that's not even all the stuff that's supposed to go in it. That's only what I'm allowed to do on the Postmate app. To get the whole thing, I gotta go in person. I'm too lazy to do that. And this is the messiest part of my apartment right now, the living room. My parents were nice enough to buy me this couch. It's super comfy and cute. And yeah, that's what I put food and drinks on. I need to get an entertainment stand for all this crap and then I'll put it away. And those are my lights for my old film set of reaction videos, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep doing. Because I've really been wanting to move to vlogs for a while now. You guys saw my old ones from years ago. And yeah, so this is a whole new face for me. I am very excited to share it with you guys. So I have a habit of starting a big detailed coloring page and then not finishing it like this one. Um, soon as I got bored with that little section, I moved on to this one and then I got bored of that and moved on to this one and then I got bored and moved on to this one and I got bored of that and then just decide to watch Netflix for an hour and still not do anything productive. And about now is the time I have my mid-afternoon crying session because I have a low pit of depression in my black soul. So I'll watch TikToks and hug my Squishmallow for a while. Anyone else do this? No? Okay. This is me getting dressed and ready to go to the farmer's market, finally. This is my cute little produce bag that I only used to carry a water around. <laughs> so eventually, I did get to the farmer's market. I was really excited. I've been wanting to try this out for literally years and then just never did it. But I finally got there. These are some of my favorite stands I found. There was literally a beehive at this guy's stand. I bought his cream honey that was amazing. I got a candle from this lady. I still don't know how to light. And then there were so many different foods to try. I didn't get to try them all, but I tried boba, a barbecue pork bun, and tamales that were bigger than my freaking head. But yeah, look at this fresh produce. It's so colorful. And this guy had eggs. I'm definitely gonna go back next week for all those groceries. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a little behind the scenes. I'm just now finishing editing the vlog that's going out tomorrow. Well, today when I post it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm showing you what I've been up to in the new apartment. I can't wait for you to see it. And yeah, am I in frame? Uh, I really hope I am. I can't tell. I'm not good at this vlog stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you guys like this new style of filming. It's really fun for me. I'm excited to try new things. Comment below what you like and what you hate about it. I want to make them better. It's literally for you guys, so just let me know what you want to see, any other vlog ideas, any other adventures we can go on together. And yeah, that's it, so I will see you guys next time.